Hello, we're Plaid and this is Muno.pl. We, we had a very good show this evening and we've played in Poland luckily a couple of times before and it's generally been, yeah, it been good very good. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. We've definitely evolved, whether it's sort of clearly up and better, I don't know, but we've, we've kind of gone a few different directions, but I think our taste is ultimately the same as it was 20 years ago. We still love certain things like harmony there's definitely an emphasis on that so within what we love and our our taste we have we quite we try and keep learning new things or trying new things out and a lot of that comes from collaboration where we'll work with someone else and we'll learn from them um, so yeah we, we try but we don't always succeed in evolving It's exciting most of the time still. The the performance is, is probably the probably the best the best part of it. Um, when you when you get some sort of feedback because uh, it's very easy to sit in a room and, and write and enjoy it for yourself, but uh, you tend to kind of drift a lot in this in this scenario. So there's a sort of uh, finality about having to perform that you have to present clearly your ideas as opposed to just tweak forever and uh, so yeah it's uh, it's some um, it's it's still enjoyable even after 20 years at that time we used to carry big synthesizers and drum machines they were around made with out us. Of rocks back then yeah it made out of steel and uh, oh, it's flintstones sort of style <laughs> you know <laughs> But obviously now it's uh, uh, you can just get everything in a tiny little laptop, um, which isn't quite as good for performance. And the sound quality when computers first came out wasn't so good, but they, it's got a lot better in the last few years. Um, so you know it's lovely to be able to have access to all of these toys and all these synthesizers and things, and not have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds to do it and not have to fly everywhere with it. So, um, I mean, it's good in terms of new people getting into the music as well, because it used to be you had to invest quite a lot of money in order to get the gear. Now, really, you just need a computer and a bit of software and you can do it. So, I think overall it's a better thing. I think sometimes the sound suffers because of the computers, but that's, that's uh, I think that's okay, as long, you know, because more people are making music, so. We're not trying to write catchy music, but uh, I, I don't think we're the most um, academic of sort of musicians. Although we work in an area that's sort of uh, programming, and you know this is very highly highly rated. Um, we, we, as Ed said earlier, we still really like harmony and, and melody, and this could have easily been done on a piano or a stringed instrument we, we just happen to use computers to, to write it's not you know it's it's fairly old school music in in, in a sense we, we just use technology to, ha to help us do that last weekend we played in uh, Croatia and um, a band uh, we we were into when you know before we started writing music. De La Soul were playing, and that's probably the most enjoyable concert I've seen in you know 10, 20 years. I mean, and they played pretty much all old old music. Well, you know, relatively old music. And uh, yeah, I, I still love the I, I, sort of the the 
early hip hop scene, like as it developed into rap, it became, you know, it, 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 it broke into different areas, but the sort of spirit of early hip hop, real hip hop, as De La Soul would say, uh, hopefully we still have that a little. Yeah, I mean, we were into the whole culture of it, like break dancing and everything, because um, we were teenagers, so. Yeah, you look back on it, um, but there's still uh, some of the more left field hip hop now is still very interesting and it's more conscious lyrics, it's not kind of negative lyrics and um, so there's still amazing hip hop happening. We, we actually released a, a few a few records as the Black Dog and, and pl a, a plaid album quite early on, but uh, the, the Black Dog project was uh, um, Ed, uh, uh, Ken Downey and myself and so it was a sort of trio and we we worked on that between sort of 1990 and 1995 and uh, it, it was uh, it was it was a good time I mean it was when we were first starting really to to, to write and so generally the the memories of that time are, are very positive We're working on a new album and um, there's a few collaborations happening with people, uh, a few remixes we've done and potentially some more film music. Um, so yeah, those are the sort of, those are the things that are bubbling at the moment.